All right. I mean, it, it doesn't take much. All you have to do is fill up at the pump and you realize that this, uh, po the policy of this administration is not working. I mean, gas prices have more than doubled. And as, uh, as Thomas said, uh, the administration going to OPEC, trying to get them to, uh, to pump more oil when we had what we needed right here for the first time. Uh, in decades, America was not only energy independent, but we were exporting energy. Now we're back to having to go overseas to some of those who don't have our best interest at heart with handout, asking for help to get the oil we need to keep our economy moving. Doesn't make any sense at all. Well, the uh, on top of this, the Wall Street Journal reported late last week that the Biden administration is considering paying out hundreds of thousands of dollars to migrant families who were separated at the southern border during the Trump administration. Though the amount paid to each family reportedly would depend upon the circumstances of their separation. With more than 940 claims and multiple lawsuits filed, this could reach, uh, I mean, it's going to be billions of dollars in total. Joining me now to talk about this is Congressman Louis Gohmert. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He represents the first district of the Lone Star State. Congressman Louis Gohmert, welcome back to the program. Oh, it's good to be with you. Thanks, Tony. I, I just, I, I have heard from so many people this weekend as I've been in different places. This is the first topic of conversation. We're talking about giving roughly $450,000 to those who were separated at the border who came across the border illegally? Yeah, that's, that's what the Biden administration is talking about. And uh, put that in a little bit of perspective, of course, uh, when our military members are killed in combat, their family is given $400,000 in insurance and Congress upped it to get it to that amount. Uh, so this will be giving people that broke our laws, came into the country illegally, were separated from the children. And if you go back, some of those children that came in were not with parents. They were with sex traffickers. And it was very important that we make sure that they were with a parent. And so these are, are things that should be checked. And then another part, I was just looking at the uh, average income for last year. Social Security Administration says last year, the uh, latest we have figures for, the average uh, income was $53,000. If you say that they paid 20% of that 53,000, which is actually a little high, uh, in income tax, or federal income tax, it would take 42 and a half years of that wage earner paying all of their federal tax to just pay for the $450,000 to one person. And I'm hearing from an awful lot of people, Tony, that don't want all of their taxes going to pay for one person that broke our immigration laws and had that happen for 42 and a half years. It is ridiculous, it's outrageous, and it is not something that we ought to be agreeing to. That's just ridiculous. Um, we're up against a break, Congressman Gomer. Uh, final question for you, can Congress stop this? Don't, doesn't, it, doesn't Congress have the purse strings? We do have the purse strings, but the president has uh, a lot of money that he can play with and do things that Congress would not approve of. But uh, if we were doing the right thing by the country, we would step in and stop this man before he does anything more stupid to hurt the country. And by the way, you were talking to G20 uh, summit. The first statement he made was how sorry he was that he was 20 minutes late because uh, the elevators were such a problem. That's our top executive. Louis Gohmert, always great to talk.